this seems like a relatively trivial thing, but I'm, I'm framing this as an Elon Musk thing, but I wanted to talk a little bit about Twitter as a whole. So another change apparently is going to be rolled out soon on Twitter. Of course, Elon Musk wants to remove the block feature, a suggestion literally nobody likes. Will he do it? Will he be able to do it even? I don't know. He's gotten away with a lot in the past, and he's certainly not immune to making catastrophically bad decisions. But we're getting a new one, a new, maybe even wackier one. Okay, from X News Daily. News. Twitter is changing how news links show up in the timeline. It will strip out the headline slash text so links only display an article's lead image. And then Elon says, This is coming for me directly. Will greatly improve the aesthetics. So this seems relatively minor, but it's actually much more psychotic than you might think. See, most people do not look past the uh, article. Most people, uh, or sorry, uh, past the article headline. Most people just look at the headline. In a lot of cases, I would argue that this is fine. A lot of article headlines are essentially self-explanatory, or they refer to basic rudimentary events that can be summed up in a sentence or two. Uh, and then if you want to learn more, you can read the article. That's, you know, that's cool. That's fine. Here's an example, just so you guys understand what this would look like. This is an article, uh, Matt Bender is posting it here, talking about how a significant portion of Elon Musk's followers are bots. Millions and millions of new inactive accounts with no followers, no engagement, just following Elon to increase his follow numbers. Not surprising. Now, you'll notice that underneath the image, if you're familiar with Twitter, you've seen this, you have the website it comes from, you have the what is determined to be the title based on the the algorithm used so it, it it has a program that'll okay like what here is the title well uh this is the big bold thing right here so that must be the title and then it has the subheader right beneath it you might notice something about the system that it's perfect this is perfect if you're linking an article to have the head image as the grab the website it's from the title and the subheader this can't be improved upon I literally mean it. Uh, it's, 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 seriously, this is the best you can do. If you add any more information, then you're basically just like asking a program to clip out portions of an article to show, and you're bloating the image, which isn't good. If you take less away, or if you take any of this away, then you're, you know, you're, you're reducing the amount of valuable information. This is critical. Elon wants to take this away. Elon wants to take this away, so all you see is the image. But what does this image mean? Well, on its own, not very much. It's just a stylized image of Elon Musk surrounded by empty follower accounts. And what's more, no article is going to have, like, YouTube thumbnail-style titles present in their image because Twitter is the only program that's going to have this change. Like, it's not like YouTube or whatever. People aren't going to go, oh, okay, so all I have to add is, on the image, Mashable.com, Elon Musk's ex-follower account, blowed by millions of views and active accounts, we took a close, blah, 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 blah. They're not going to do that. They're not going to. So you're just going to get the image. Which means that now, if you want to add information, uh, all you have to do is just type it above. You can just type it right here, right? Well, yeah, so, so, so Matt Bender could type all of this. Out of curiosity, how many characters is this title and uh, this subheader? Uh, character, character counter, word counter dot net, 188. So that's about half of the total amount of tweet that you can do dedicated entirely to replicating the information that's already present based on how Twitter works currently. But I tell you what's going to happen, folks. I tell you why this is being done. Elon Musk says it's for the aesthetics. It's obviously not. This is being done deliberately to spread misinformation. You know how the right, especially everyone to an extent, but mostly the right, will post a article screenshot and then lie about its title or its contents? Because I've seen that happen all the time. They'll take a screenshot of a, like a title or of an image or something and they'll post it and they'll go, in this article, the left advocates for raping 5 billion children a second. And then if you actually like Google search the article and look it up, you will find that they always lie every single time without exception, every single time they lie, every time. That's why it's generally considered to be a lot more like um, trustworthy to link the article directly rather than screenshot it, right? Because if somebody screenshots it, the only way to look at the article is by Googling the article title if presented. And that's kind of a pain. And a lot of people aren't going to do that. 
I don't blame people in a world where they're being shown so much information all the time for taking things at face value sometimes. They see a screenshot of an article, it looks legit, they're like, oh, okay, and then they move on. Not everyone is going to, every single time, go like, ah, well, I have to investigate this by Googling and searching it back and blah, blah, blah. This is just stripping metadata in an effort to make information more ambiguous. And you're right, KCJ from LI, we're coming up on election year. We're just a little bit more than a year away from the election of our next president. As we know from back in 2020, information misinfo was a huge part of the game plan for the right. Months and months and months of active, propagated, systemized misinformation pushed through dozens of outlets in a coordinated fashion. They knew they were lying. We know they knew they were lying and they coordinated it. It's a big open secret. Now, at the time, Twitter did have some protections in place to prevent the spread of election misinfo. So did YouTube, but not much, not really. I think YouTube banned for a time, like just some kinds of outright lying. There was some COVID related stuff people banned outright lying about. But for the most part, people lied all the time in these platforms and it just, was there or was there not misinformation spread on Twitter back in 2020 before Elon Musk had it? Of course there was, obviously. But now there's going to be a lot more because now whenever a person links an article, you know what you're going to see? You're going to see a fucking image, which begs the question, why would somebody link an article? Well, maybe somebody might link an article if they, you know, directly want to generate site traffic, like say if they run the website. But if they just want to spread information, why would they link the article when they could just screenshot it. If you wanted to get this basic message out, Elon Musk's Twitter follower count bloated by millions of new inactive accounts, which would you rather do? Post the article link and it just be this image or screenshot this and post it. I know what I'd rather do because if I just posted the article link and all it showed was the image, I would just have people have to trust me. I would have to say, hey, Here's an article talking about how Elon Musk has bloated his follower account. Click on this image to find out more. Or I could just screenshot this and post that and instantly all the metadata is back. But now we've lost the ability to just link to the article. And nobody posts a screenshot of an article while also linking to the article because that would double show the image. Or do you think people are gonna screenshot the title and subheader and then have the link to the article? So it's like they're just adding in the metadata as a shared image. You could quote the article in the tweet. Yeah, but that doesn't get nearly as much engagement as uh, words that are in an image or kept in like the metadata or the UI of Twitter itself. People, when they look at articles being linked, tend to look at the metadata contained within the article link and not the words themselves. You know this is true. What immediately draws your eye in this? Is it this stuff at the top? No, it's not. And there's data to prove it. For the most part, people look down to this. This sleek, round-edged border box containing an image designed by a graphic designer and this nice, clean metadata right there. People tend to look at this. They'll look at this too, but there's a bias. You guys understand what I'm talking about here, right? I don't know whether Elon is doing this like purely for the, the, the chaos god misinfo clout or whatever, or if it's like part of an advertiser bid where there's an effort being made to sort of allow for a wider range of misinformation to benefit certain types of advertisers. I don't know if he wants to like curtail the amount of like negative news about him. Guys, it's Elon Musk. For all we know, he literally just didn't like this tweet from Matt Binder. That with him, that is a real possibility. I'm not joking. I'm not being hyperbolic. He might have literally seen this and thought, Mm, yeah, I would rather it just be this image of me and not this metadata down here. It will improve the aesthetics. See, that might actually be it. Thanks, Matt Binder. I think the reason he's also doing this is he wants to promote journalists posting directly to Twitter. That is true. Elon Musk has been trying to promote Twitter as a journalism tool. I think he said literally like, hey, make more money. Post your shit directly to Twitter. Hold on. Let me see if I can find that because it was really funny. Yeah, here we go. If you're a journalist who wants more freedom to write and a higher income, then publish directly on this platform. That's right, journalist. Lose your job where you're paid to write articles to your news site and instead get Twitter blue so that you can post, copy-paste, directly to Twitter. 
something people will definitely read and engage with. You'll notice, of course, that doing this will also destroy the metadata in the uh, 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 in the news. It would prevent like specific formatting. It would prevent hyperlinks. There is literally no reason a journalist would ever choose Twitter as their preferred platform for journalism. They can't like cross promote the same way no hyperlinks no subheaders no subtitles no like specific blocking no inset images no like no, no controlling ads on the sidebar no nothing literally just like a long twitter post that's it just a long twitter post now why is elon doing this well he is very stupid his grift is already running out i mean there are already conservatives who are complaining about how little money they're making from twitter blue in fact, if you guys were paying attention earlier in this very stream, there was a Krasenstein Twitter space held with about 300 people in it where they were talking about the disappointing proceeds from Twitter Blue. That was in this stream. It's not there anymore, but it was there and you can go back in the Twitter or in the in the YouTube VOD and find it. Now in its place, there's another advertisement for subscribe to premium. It's everywhere. It shows up at the top of your feed sometimes. It shows up in the corner. If you accidentally click verified, then it will pop up there. They, Elon is incredibly desperate for money. Also, hi, Harris. Have you guys also noticed that while scrolling through regular tweets, you see ads way more often than you used to? Have you noticed that? Like, sometimes I see it every third, you know, every third tweet. It's mostly on my phone, not my computer. Just use ad blocker. It's on my phone, not my computer. I can check right now. I mean, maybe I'll get lucky, or I guess in this case, unlucky, and I'll happen upon a Twitter thread where I don't see that. But I'll go right here. Juniper, sure. Cars are getting too advanced. We never needed them to go beyond automatic up-down windows. Screens, self-driving, rear-facing cameras. This is an affront to our God-intended driving capabilities we have to return. True. Okay, let's see. So I get one, two, three, four replies, and then here's Sheen, or Shine, the clothing brand, the one where they're like, hey, here, have these clothes for $3 or whatever. Is it Shine or Sheen? 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 Okay. Sheen. 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 Okay. So there we go. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I accidentally exited out of the thing. That's, that's, that's my fault. Seven. And then another Sheen. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sheen. One, two, three. Sheen. That's an ad. That's an ad. That's an ad. That's an ad. I've never seen this many ads on any social media app. And before porn, I checked it beforehand. Nice phone case. Thank you. Twitter is well and truly dying. Anyway, I just, I, I think that we need to acknowledge the fact that the environment for misinformation is only going to get worse, unfortunately. When did Artemy get displaced by Ruben in this bed? Look at him, he's rolling around in it. Look at him, he's like spilling out of it. What are you doing?